Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss a program to get the count of zeros and ones from the given 16 bit number. So we'll see the code. Assume cs colon code comma ds colon data. So in data segment we are going to declare a, a 16 bit number that is n1 space dw dw means data word so word means 16 bit number word equal to 2 bytes so here the 16 bit number is 5030h so binary equal to 5030 is we know what is the binary equivalent of 5030 i'll show you So 5030 it is a hexadecimal value. So this is what the binary equivalent of 5030. So in this total number of ones or four remaining all are zeros. So totally I have four ones and twelve zeros. Right. So how we are going to get this output? We'll see. So data ends. Next code segment. Here in code segment, we are going to give the actual program. So move ax comma data, move ds comma ax. So this is the initialization for all the program. This is common. The next line command move ax comma n1. So in n1 this is what the number we have given that is 5030 this number is stored in ax right now next line command move cx comma 16 so totally how many bits we have 16 bits we have so that's why 16 steps we have to 16 values we have to check one by one that's why we are taking this 16 value so that's why we have taken 16 to cx next we are shifting ax to left hand side by one step so so that command here we have given shl which so SHL means shift left AX by one step. So one by one it will shift AX. For example, first it will take this one. Next it will take this zero. Next it will take this one. Next it will take this zero. Like that it will shift left hand side one by one. Now it will check jump carry jc means jump carry one suppose if carry is there first bit there is no carry actually here you see first value is zero actually so no carry if no carry means bx will be incremented one so which means in bx you will get the count of number of zeros suppose if carry is there it will jump to one where is one here here one is there here it is increment dx so dx will maintain the count of number of ones bx will maintain the count of number of zeros okay next is jump next so next where we have declared decrement cx actually cx in cx only we have given number of uh, how many number of times the values has to be uh, checked whether it is 0 or or 1 how many times 16 times because it is a 16 bit value so that 16 we have given here and we are decrementing that cx one by one first it will check the first value that is 16th value next one 15 next is 14 next 13 next 12 11 like that it will decrement till 0 so jump non-zero back which means until the cx is non-zero 
it will jump to back where is back back is here so it's like a loop you are creating a loop like this so until the cx zero this loop will continue till the cx become zero so if the cx become zero then it will end the program right so in bx we can find the number of zeros in the given number in dx you can find the number of ones present in the given number okay i hope you can understand this code so i'll show the output we'll run this code so save this then exit then give the command masm space the file name is zro dot asm so there is no error link space file name dot obj no stack segment next debug space zro file name dot exe then press u click on enter so whichever the code we typed everything is visible here now g equal to offset address 0000 space last interrupt 21 is there no that is with offset address 0017 so click on enter now you can find in bx value is c c means 12 in dx value is 4 i hope it is visible right see here ma in dx value is 4 in bx value is c so c means 12 right so 12 zeros are there and 4 ones are present in the given 16 bit number right thank you ma